gonna be watching my vlogs for the first time ever by myself can't wait um so i'm just gonna go and show you guys how my head is looking my scalp isn't like majorly flaky this um it's a little but it's not like completely um but i just do need to give my hair a nice little wash how the back is looking. Just trying to show you guys as much as I can. <laughs> Hope you guys can see everything. So guys, this is two days before I reached five months locked. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna go in with a bit of ACV apple cider vin vinegar because when you open the lock, yeah, you see this? That is like product buildup, I believe. Because from the outside looking in, it may seem like it's like flakes and stuff from the scalp, but after a few days after my retwist and stuff, it's evident because I think it is the product. I mean, it is the product. I know. I'm just gonna go in and um, actually I think I'll open up my roots and then I'm gonna go in with some apple cider vinegar hold on oh and I'll be retwisting my hair as well so I'm washing and retwisting my looks for the first time for the first time in forever <laughs> Ooh. So I'm just going to go in and open the locks so it's easier for any build up to um, to like escape, to, to come out. So I'm just pulling it lightly. Um, just to open it up a bit. So opening your locks from the roots is a great first step beforehand to get the best possible clean out of your wash. As you can see there's a lot of new growth. It's been two months since my last um, retwist. So a lot of growth. So the last time I washed my hair was when I reached three months and this video was just shy of five months so it has been two months since I last washed my hair. So using the hair band makes it easier to ensure all the locks are open as I can just take them down one at a time. You see that's literally all product there guys. That's not dry scalp, that is pro duct. So that's my hair after I've opened up the roots. <laughs> it's like I got electrocuted. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in with some apple cider vinegar just to um, leave it in a while so it can really help dissolve um, the build up in the lot. I've watched lots of videos and they use apple cider vinegar um, by baking soda and um, lemon juice. But I don't have any baking soda right now. Um, I have a lemon, but seeing that I don't have the baking soda, I'm thinking, oh, is there any point? So I'm just gonna lightly spritz um, the ACUV on, on the roots here, just so it can do a little bit of the work. And then I will um, come wash it out. So hold on. So this is the Bragg um, organic apple cider vinegar with the mother. I actually have a little left. <laughs> um, this is a really good product. I use it for like different things um 
but yeah i'm just gonna i don't have much left y'all so i'm just gonna put it in the bottle i'll just use the whole thing i don't know if i should dilute it i don't know oh and even though i kind of didn't take my own advice but I was thinking I didn't really want to scratch my head like much like uh, yesterday because I don't want it to because I knew because I, I knew I was going to use the ACB I didn't want it to irritate my scalp more like open wounds or anything but yum when I don't realize I'm just always playing in my hair so this may sting I'll, 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 I'll let you guys know if it does, but, um, I did try my best. So if you are going to do it, I would suggest like to just not play up in the scalp a bit. You know what? Let me just add a little water because there really is barely anything in here. So it just can raise up a bit. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in. Come on, mate. Why you not? There we go. I'm just gonna go in and rub it on the um the roots actually let me catch it up and then I'll just go through one by one It'll be easier for me to do it that way it's so much tighter to catch up my hair now so I'm just gonna get him and spritz 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 Okay. You know what? I'm trying to be over the sink because it's rolling down my arm and I don't want the apple cider vinegar to, vinegar to end up in my nice nice red carpets. So um I'm trying to keep it over the sink. I don't want the smell to be in the carpet. Maybe I should turn around. Should I turn around? Let me just do it. So if this is your first time on this channel i do make faces when i do my hair as you can see um but if you've been on my channel before seeing me do my hair videos you know i make weird faces when i do my hair i don't know why just helps with focus and concentration i think so yeah if you're not used to it just get used to it i'm just using a bit because i don't have much so i'd rather just use a little and then if i have more at the end i'll just go over it Not it on my walls, you see what I mean? I'm gonna have to wipe that off. Um, it's not burning or anything because I'm really just focusing on the hair. If I was like submerging it more, maybe, but it doesn't hurt or anything. Or burn. I wouldn't recommend doing an ACV wash every time you wash your hair because it can be drying to the scalp. Um, I am only using it because of the excess and the amount of product builds up within my locks but this isn't something I would do every time I wash my hair. As excessive usage can cause moisture to strip from your hair and we don't want that. Yeah, let me just do the front first because we are running very low. So once I spray it in, I use my fingers to just rub it in so it gets more contact to the area where I really want it to dissolve. I should dilate more because there's really barely anything in this. But I've done the back and I've done the middle, I mean the front. So this is parts of ACB. If I had like um, the ace, the baking soda, if I did the ACV with the baking soda and the lemon juice, I'd probably leave it for maybe like half an hour or something. But seeing that it's just apple cider vinegar, I'm probably just gonna do 10-15 minutes. Um, 
and then I will proceed with wash day. Let's try and use it well now. I'm just gonna leave that for 15, around 15, 10, 15 minutes, and then I will come back and wash it out. Over here, I've just got some rice water. I like to rice water in my hair as a little protein treatment every now and again, because um, it really does promote hair growth. I used rice water first in around, it was around 2018 or 2019. It was before I moved here anyways. I can't remember but anyways yeah i like to use rice water as it promotes hair growth and it's a good protein treatment for me so this is around 72 hours so it's been in here i soaked it from wednesday saturday now so around two three days um not three four days probably but anyways i just like to i'm just mixing it just to show you guys obviously when i put the water in it was clear water but now it's quite quite cloudy because that's all the good stuff that's in there so i'm gonna then pour it into my um spray bottle I usually spray my hair in the kitchen because of the floor and it feels like it just wipe it up because this rice water it doesn't have the best smell but for the purpose of this video I might just spray my hair in the bathtub um, but yeah that's my rice water so the apple cider vinegar is still in my hair and then I'm going to rinse it out and then I've already prepared the rice water so I can just spray it in my hair just to show you a close up how the rice water looks you can't see through at all i think it's called fermented rice i don't even know but your this is like three days of soaking so okay guys so it's been around 25 minutes yeah i was doing something um but i'm gonna wash out the apple cider vinegar now and um for the sake of this video i'll be washing my hair with the um i'll be like bucket washing my hair for the sake of this video and also I'm out of gas, so you know, sometimes you have to do your little one to one to go back to your yard ways, you know. So, regardless, there's always where there's a will, there's a way. So, I just boiled up some kettle water and we keep it pushing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash out my hair now and then I'm gonna you're gonna see me spray the apple cider vinegar in my hair, but I'm not really gonna talk one, I'm playing music, and two, I'm just gonna probably do a voiceover or something. So, yeah, let's just get into it. So, I'm gonna wash out the ACV and then put the rice water I'm, i usually leave it on for like um i usually leave it on for around an hour but seeing that i just did this i might do like 45 minutes or something i don't know but yeah let's just get into it so i've never washed my hair like this before so i was a little bit nervous but once i threw that first um container full on me then it i was all right but you know initially just that first bucket full it was a bit <laughs> but um from this point on it, it was manageable
So I've got my basin filled with water and that's what I'm just scooping the water from. But anyways, as you can see, the apple cider vinegar is coming out of my hair and I really want to make sure I get all of that out before I add the rice water. So I make sure I give my head a good scratch and a good um, scrub um, before I add the rice water in my hair. I really want to squeeze all that ACV out first. And always remove your earrings when you wash your hair. I've lost so many earrings, <laughs> but I always take them out. The Domino's Ultimate Chicken Mexicano. We say the male drizzle. We have Mexican sandal. Normally, it's a piece of it. Put it with the rice water now. So I just decided to lightly towel pat dry my hair before um, adding the rice water just to ensure everything was out. <laughs> So yeah guys, then I just begin to spritz or spray the rice water throughout my hair. The water bottle was giving me so much problems this day, it was so annoying. But anyways, I continue spraying and try to get it through my hair, in my hair, in my roots, throughout the coils as much as possible. So I try and just cover my head as much as possible with this rice water. I soaked it for three days for a reason and I intend to get as much usage out of this as possible. As you all know, I'm a music lover, so everything I do is coupled with music. So you will see me bopping, vibing, singing along <laughs> throughout this video. So yeah, guys. So as mentioned before, I have been using rice water since around 2017. I had done the rice water, taken a picture of my hair after a week or two and saw a major growth difference and I've just never really looked back. So remember that rice water craze, I was definitely part of it and I have not looked back. So in terms of rice water, it is filled with vitamins, minerals and amino acids, which are essential for strengthening the hair. As our hair is made up of keratin, which is protein, our body needs amino acids to create that keratin. Hence why rice water is a great protein treatment as it is filled with amino acids, which essentially boost hair growth and strengthens your hair altogether. So that's a bit of science and facts behind um, why rice water is used and the benefits of that. Like I understand copyright but oh my gosh like because I play music all the time yeah I really wish I could just play it throughout the video so y'all can vibe with me. Wanna be me so she do my emotes and my name and her mass so I bet she gonna choke. Girl of his dreams thinking about me while he brushing his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I might just do that. Like, fuck copyright. I might just start singing and rapping in my voice notes. <laughs> I might just sing and rap so we can still vibe together just without the music in the background because what? That's the only thing, yo. I wish we could just fuck this copyright thing because, oh, it'd be just taking out the energy of my video. Like, I still bring the energy. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. But music would just, just be, oh, it would just sign off the video, you know? But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Rings the hotel, everything all to the glock, holla point, that I let up in a boy head back. <laughs> Guys, this is new for me too, please. <laughs> I've never washed my hair like this here in this country, so it's different. But I just put the rifle in my hair. My spray bottle started acting up, so I just had to chuck that whole thing on my head. It was so cold, but it's definitely submerged. Look at the curls, so cute. So cute. No, let me try to get a close up. Hold on. Fill up. Can you just see what I'm doing? So curly. Anyways, so I'm just gonna put this plastic around my head. That's how you get it going. That's how you get it steaming. The treatment flow is to wrap it up. And then I just put my shower cap, put my shower cap over. I'm 
I'll probably do an hour to be honest. Which is why I usually do this. So. I'm gonna leave this on my head for an hour and then I will come back. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna like fill up that the bucket that I'm chucking the water on my head and stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys in an hour. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still waiting, guys. <laughs> Then I'm gonna do um, shampoo with sulfur A, which is to remove dandruff, help restore the scalp's natural pH balance, which it needs. And then I'm gonna go in with around two of the strengthen and restore shampoo from Shea Moisture. And then I feel like on the third shampoo, I'm gonna push up my locks. That's really gonna help remove the built up dirt um, that may be within the locks, just to push it up and remove it. And then finally, I will go in with the um, strengthen and restore conditioner. So they both have shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar in the shea moisture shampoos and conditioners. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Not gonna really talk, but I'm gonna just record myself washing my hair. And yeah, I'm so cold. Let me just. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna play my music, y'all just watch, and then we'll get into the rest of it. I don't know if you got a man or not, if you made plans or not, if God put you in my plans or not. I'm tripping this drink, got me singing a lot. Y'all, sing along if you know the songs too, okay? <laughs> So guys, let me tell you a bit about the Sulfur 8 shampoo. So it's a rich lathering shampoo for thorough deep cleansing. It helps remove dandruff flakes. This shampoo cleanses the scalp of dandruff and flakes, leaving the hair soft, manageable, and ideal for all hair types. So this is um, Sulfur 8. I have used this for years because it's just something I've always suffered with. So it's not, not a new product to me. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not... It's something I am very familiar with and I do find that it helps keep my um, scalp in check and it helps me manage um, any flakiness that I may experience. So like I do mention in all the videos, if I recommend a product, it is because that's what has worked for me. So if you are to give it a go, like I said, everything is always trial and error, touch and go, um, whether it will work for you. So just remember that when trying new products whether that be hair products skincare products whatever the case may be it all depends on what works with you so just bear that in mind I 
Up next, I'm using the Sheer Moisture's Jamaican Black Cast Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. This sulfate-free clarifying shampoo removes buildup while infusing hair with nourishing moisture. Perfect for those who regularly color, straighten, relax, or heat style their hair, as well as wear kinky, curly, or wavy natural styles. And it's not tingling at all. So those who've been on this journey with me may remember when I got my hair washed at the Locticians, it used to tingle a whole leap. It was so irritated with the shampoo. But using my shampoo, I'm not experiencing anything at all. Boy, the boy's a liar. The boy's a liar. <laughs> So when it comes to pushing up my locks, what I do is I take um, my thumb and the nail of my thumb to be exact and I press that against my index finger with obviously the lock in between the two fingers and I just, I just push up, I push up and then that allows any shampoo that's within the locks or anything to come out. Finally, I'm going in with the Sheer Moisture Jamaican Black Cast Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. The benefits listed are the exact same as the shampoo. Additionally though, it says this conditioner helps to nourish and strengthen damaged, brittle hair to reduce breakage, leaves hair shiny and fully rejuvenated. Leave in for 3 minutes, rinse, then style as desired. My hair suddenly got really warm. Leave that for a bit. I'm just gonna add some more water here so I can wait it out, and then I'm just gonna bathe, have a shower, and then we are gonna get into the retwist. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave this for as long as it takes for me to fill this up again. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna wash out the conditioner now. It was around, um, child, half an hour. <laughs> I'm just chilling today. <laughs> Young boy living like a no geezer. Quick release the cash or she fall slowly, slowly. Frack girl still trying to get you, get it? Head is fat for whatever reason. There is nothing to explain. I'm a fucking black beetle. Cream seats in the regal rocking John Lennon's lens is trying to see a spread. Equal took a bit to the club and let her party on the table screaming everybody's favors. Like clockwork, I roll it up, blow it up, blow it up. Get some more. Get you somebody that can do both. The Beatles got the babes belly rolling. She thinks she love me. I think she chill. Hey, that girl is so okay. That's enough. That's enough for that one. <laughs> Hashtag mannequin challenge, y'all. Okay, guys. That is my hair washed for the first time. First time washing my locks. Okay. So yeah, I've just washed my locks. So I'm gonna bathe now. And then we're gonna get into the rest of the um, hair day, wash day. But I really liked washing my hair like this. I really liked washing my hair like this, especially the first time. Oh 
especially for the first time washing my locks it was so i don't know like intimate just like using the bucket water and wash i feel like i was back home i felt like i was like in jamaica just yeah i just i just really loved it so i'm so grateful and so happy that first time watching my locks was this way i really loved it i just yeah i got to be one with the locks <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna have a i'm just gonna bathe now and then we're gonna get back into it but you can watch this part <laughs> 